time for another 70 year old play. And today we're going to do Drift or Die by Fleiss9998. There we go. Drift or Die by Fleiss9998. And, well, only he's basically listed here. I don't see credits for anyone else. Except for, like, you know, the songs and stuff. This was made for the 2023 70-year-old game jam. Downloads don't work on the web version page because of a glitch with shared array buffer support. So if you want to download the game, go to the download page. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I can't tell if, like, you know, we're supposed to download it or we're not supposed to download it. But let's just see if we can get a game here to basically play, and hopefully one that doesn't keep failing every, very, um, you know, five seconds, three seconds, two seconds, every second. This is one of the benefits of having Steam, by the way. If it fails on Steam, it just restarts it itself. I don't basically do it my, my, myself each time. Alright, let's just see what this says here. So, drift or die. Find water in each stage before running out of fuel. Zombies can't damage you, but will slow you down. Why is there arrow keys to move? 1, 2, or 9, 0 to use items. M to mute all game sounds. Well, let's see what this is all about. And of course, AVG's got like its issues, of course, so we'll just wait a minute for it to sort it all out. That's a very small window. Why does it say debug? Whatever. Drift or die, press W to start. Okay, I found some gas there, I guess, or something. Now, I guess the idea here is like, you know, um, the gray stuff's the pavement. Is this basically all it is? Just like find the like you know the gas each time. Oh, so those are boxes. I guess you can like you know run through. All right, so right off the bat, I can already tell this is basically like you know losing marks in like the road lateness score. And it might be losing like marks just like, you know, not just because of how simple this game basically is, but also for procedural generation. And I think that's it for me. I mean, they can't get into the car, but I'm stuck, so... All right, well, let's just see this place here first.
And it looks like it is loading up in the, in the sleek web page here. But yeah, I'll note that to a developer. You probably lost uh, like you know marks instantly for a rule like this because it's just like you know find like the objective and like you know move on to the next map. That's what all it basically is. Um, you need to have a little bit more in that, like have some items basically to help you out, like you know power ups or whatnot. Why is this not loading at all? Like it seems to load, but then it doesn't load. So I guess like there is like still like, a glitch here. It's like you know stopping from um, running on this like you know page here because it stops always at this point. So if we go to like to Mozilla here, Yeah, even on Mozilla, it's basically having issues. So, well, let's just go back to our downloads then. It seems to work here just fine. Oh, there's like a shop right here or something. So, how does this basically work? Do you need like score basically to buy this stuff here? But yeah, I know that that you know it seems a little bit too simple. Just basically drive around until you find the gas, really. So. Oh, it seems like gas is like always in the same place. Um, that's not a good sign for like you know a game. So if we go down here, I'll just find, find our gas. How's my score calculated by? Was it like calculated by the stuff I hit? That seems to be like it, right? I get like, you know, points for killing off zombies and stuff. And boxes. I need a little bit more speed. There we go. Yeah, I would have seen this game like lose a lot of points for like road like this. And maybe it also lost a little bit incomplete because, like, you know, if you're basically, like, stop, like, you know, zombies around you and, like, you can't move, you can't, like, play anymore, so it's, like, you know, you're ending your run right there, but it's really, like, you know, end your run right there.
interesting music change. Oh, they get stuck. Almost. Almost out of gas, by the way, but you know, whatever. Drifter died, so we died. Oh, there's that music again. Oh, we found the water pretty fast that time. But yeah, I have to say, like, the main issue here is, like, the lack of death. We really need to have like more happening here, and it's like you know, a bunch of zombies that sort of like you know, chase you around in this game from A to B. Also, sound like the you know, the driving here is kind of like hard to do. It's even that could be improved. Here's a shop. Me zombies. I'm actually gonna try and get some, like, you know, stuff for the shop here, I guess, so... What's this stuff do? Okay, so basically get the, you know, the gas can, I guess you some gas if you use it. Pretty obvious, like, you know, what it would basically do. And yet again, I can't find the gas, so... We're done again. Up some money for a shop, right? Ding. There's enough zombie killing.
So here's Nitro, I bet that makes me go faster. Yep, Nitro just makes, you know, gets your big boost of speed temporarily. Oh, there's some Nitro. So... I actually see Nitro being more of a, like, a hinders here because, like, you know, going too fast is, like, you know, smashes into a wall. So yeah, basically Nitro just gives you a temporary boost of speed. You've got gas there. I guess you need a lot more gas to take out the big ones. More Nitro Blacks in there. See, I, I see like the biggest issue with this game is the fact that you're like so, um, you know, so like tight, tight core space to deal with here. That's like, you know, it's more of a hindrance than like, you know, anything else. It actually makes it sort of unfun to play. Like, I'm constantly slamming into walls. Trying to avoid them, because there's so many of them. Nitro. Okay, we're done. All right. Well, that's basically drift or die. Um. Yeah. Let's just look at the scores, I guess. So, see where I basically lost all those points. And yeah, I don't know why some gave us a 1.5 in realistic, but. Yeah, I don't think we can categorize this as a roguelike at all, because, you know, this really wasn't a roguelike. In all honesty, this probably should have like, received like one reviewer. It should have been like, nope, this is not a roguelike. We moved us from the queue, but whatever. Um, 1.5 for scope. Yeah, I, I have to agree that it wasn't basically enough for, for like, you know, a 7-day uh, game jam. Innovation. I do agree that like, there's a little bit of like, you know, innovation here. And I, like it's basically got this sort of old school look and like you know driving around, but that's basically it's like only like you know real high mark I think really. So I certainly agree with, with like giving it this points for innovation, fun. The camera here is fun. Aesthetics it does look alright, you know a little bit like barren but it's fine. I wonder why they gave us like you know um, two for completeness really. I don't think, like, um, it was, like, completely incomplete, but, I mean, it wasn't really refined. I, I guess I can agree with two air. So, yeah. For the most part, I agree with the score, but I think that this should really should have been removed from, like, from the queue. This is really a game where it should have been, like, you know, judged for, like, this game, I don't think, so. I have to agree with, like, if this, like, viewer here. It's not really really good at all. It should have been removed. But whatever. That's Drift or Die. Hope you guys basically enjoyed it, and take care.